There it is in my office in the attic. Fire was coming down and uh, I encouraged them. I said, everybody got to get out. I really thank God for everything that he has done for me over the years. We could have been dead right now. And I thank God. I just thank him. Just nine days before Christmas, a man on the west side turned on the heater and had to lead his family out as their home burned. Already the Red Cross has stepped in to give Michael Ross and his wife and brother-in-law a place to stay for the next few days. And our viewers, just like you, are stepping up too. Camrell Eppinger is on your side tonight with more. Larissa Ross struggles with the thought of losing her childhood home. It's actually sad because it's like all our gifts were burned. You know, we have nothing to give at this point, and we have to start all over again. On Monday morning, her parents' West Side home caught fire shortly after she dropped off her three-month-old daughter. It all started in the attic. Ross says an unsuspecting, slithering surprise may be to blame. We were also told that there was a four-foot snake in the attic um, that may have chewed through the wire that caused it to ignite. Ross's parents, uncle, grandmother, and infant all made it out alive. However, the fire destroyed their home. Since their story aired early on First Coast News, strangers have stepped in to lend a helping hand. You know, they lost everything, and we're at the holidays, and so it's better to give than receive. And Gary Hoff and his wife Pam decided to donate a queen-size bed to the Ross family. We said, well, hey, these people just had their stuff all burned. We could donate it to them. A First Coast News viewer who did not want to go on camera offered up clothing for Ross's family. Ross says she also received support from her neighbors and wanted to express her gratitude with the following message. We love you. We thank you for everything that you've done for us. And we just appreciate that you've reached out to us so we can enjoy our holiday. Camera Leppinger, First Coast News, on your side. And it feels so good to see so many of you at home stepping in to help. That's what it's all about. For more on how you can help, including a link to the GoFundMe efforts, just go to our website, firstcoastnews.com.